what my old Don't mess with it. Now everybody sees it's you. Okay. Welcome to our life at the table. Um, my name is Kimberly, and you might know me as the communications manager and the youth director at I First Wing Street. This here is Silas. <laughs> and Silas Trusdell, and that's Smiles. And this is Mark, and you might know him um, as one. And we uh, have a new dog. We do have a new dog as one of the leaders at um, and you're Life at the Daddy. Table. And so tonight was supposed to be Life at the Table, but because of mm -hmm. the circumstances to maintain our health and well-being. Our dog's we, name is Yay. Yes, our dog's name is Daddy. Um, social distancing. We are bringing you a virtual life at the table. So we are going to offer you a prayer and a short devotional. I'm also going to be checking the laptop so that you can um, submit prayer requests, um, engage with us, chat with us, just like you would if you were at church today. Um, so Mark is going to join us in prayer. We're eating dinner, so I hope you don't mind. Um, we're eating salmon and broccoli and some rice. Feel free to share with us what you're eating, um, how you're rice. feeling, what you're thinking. You don't like rice, bud. Um, and yes, we do have two dogs who may be making appearances here. So um, life is crazy, um, but together we can connect um, through our faith in our faith community. All right, I'm gonna, thank you so much for that amazing narrow. intro, um, and I want to thank a number of people uh, for watching tonight. Um, we wish we could be at the church being wife and table. Let me get my schedule. That was the dog. Uh, schedule for tonight, and uh, Pastor Cheryl had something to do uh, with John, but I kind of changed it up a little bit. Uh, it wasn't going to be my night to preach, but since Kim kind of uh, pitched this to me, I thought it was a really cool idea, and I wanted to keep it relevant to what was going on uh, in the news that everybody's very well aware of. Um, I also want to thank Pastor Cheryl for just a few moments ago emailing me and, and texting me the communal prayer. Uh, so if you guys could join me or if you guys could kind of bow your heads just for a second, we're going to do the very same prayer that we do uh, at Life at the Table. Okay. <clears throat> be present at our table, Lord. Be here and everywhere adored. Thy creatures bless and grant that we may feast in paradise with thee. Amen. 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 Okay, so um, tonight uh, we're going to be talking a little bit uh, about, I'm not going to talk too much um, at you because it's just going to be very informal, um, but I'll, okay. I'll start with Don't some very brief sick. scripture like we do at, at, at Life at the Table, and then I'll go into a very brief message based on what I saw basically a couple days ago and, and how relevant it is. Um, so today we're going to talk about Romans, Romans, <laughs> Romans 5. Yeah. <laughs> Dogs fighting. Anyway, looks like they're going to live. So uh, Romans 5 is all about how Paul talks about how we, uh, through Christ, um, don't need to abide by the law anymore. Uh, we are saved through Christ and in Christ. Uh, that we can't do it ourselves. So speaking of not being able to do it ourselves, uh, a couple of days ago I was at CVS, and uh, it was kind of madness, and there was a woman in front of me who was very um, uh, anxious and upset, and you could tell that she had been looking for something. And she uh, goes up to the clerk in front of me, and she says, do you have any hand sanitizer? And the woman says, no, no, ma'am. Well, we haven't had any for quite some time. And that's all she needed to hear, and she was upset, and she stormed out. And as she was storming out, she said, well, I don't need it anyway because I'm in God's hands. Um, and that's all fine and dandy, and that's fine. But there was a woman uh, that was behind me that, of course, had to sound off on that. And she said, God helps those who help themselves. And I always kind of can't stand that expression. I think a lot of Christians have been polled and they think that that's actually um, a biblical statement and it, and it isn't. And uh, it actually be kind of be kind of hurtful because based on the scripture that uh, we, we go over today, if you read Romans 5, it's very obvious that God acts in ways uh, to help us in, in which we can't. Um, and I know there's a lot of people uh, that are more educated than myself, and I'm always trying to be as humble as I possibly can. Um, but uh, that's something that, that clearly bothers me, and I, and I hope people dig deeper into Romans 5 to find out why that's not, uh, that's not always true, especially in light of what, what's going on right now. 
A lot of people really get upset um, and get mad at God and say, why is he letting this happen with the virus? A lot of people are going to be getting sick and, and dying. Um, and the truth of it is, we just don't know why God is doing this. Um, but we know that many people are suffering and many people are dying. Um, but uh, what I can tell you is that what we control is how do we react to it? Um, how is Christ going to uh, guide us through this? How can we be strong together? Um, and uh, I have so in, in that light, I have a bit of a homework assignment for you. Um, what can you do, um, being the healthy, healthy person that you are, to go out and help the community, if at all possible, doing social distancing? Um, the blood drive is desperately in need of, of blood, um, especially if you're O. Uh, so if you're type O, please help. Um, do you have an elderly relative that needs to be uh, visited? Can you pick up the phone and call somebody you haven't talked to in a long time? Um, can you do anything that you can do to help? Go to a community harvest food bank. I'm sure that they're uh, going to be overloaded and inundated with, with need um, the next next couple of, next few weeks. Um, so, and I kind of want to end on um, you know, Matthew 25 when, he, when Christ says that uh, whatever you've done to the least of these, you've also done to me. So be thinking about at this time not what's happening to you, but what you can do to help others and how through Christ you can um, you can make you can make a difference. Um, so thank you so much for hearing our message. This is our life at the table. I think Kim wanted to say something else. I think she might be done, um, but it's you, it's chaos here. You know this is the truth of the household. We're very blessed to have what we have. And again, I want to thank all the people that are watching. Um, and we miss everybody at church. I I I love going to Sunday school and, and going to church service and. Hopefully you're sending us great vibes and you can hear us right now. I'm kind of new to the Facebook thing, so I don't know even know if this is working or not. But um, anyway, amen. Thank you all. God bless you all. I hope you're doing okay. So we're happy. praying for you all, and um, hopefully we will be seeing you all at the beginning of May when we resume live worship. Um, be sure to stay tuned to our Facebook page. You can also visit First Wayne Street so that's website, fwsumc.org. We will be posting video services on Sunday and continuing um, to engage with you through new and exciting platforms as we try to navigate this new way of ministry. God bless.